Hello everyone, Piao, Pixie Power. Today I'm going to do some cards about Atlantis because I was so blown away by the comments in the section of the video that I put on yesterday about Atlantis and our connection with Atlantis and what it means. So many of you just saying, yes, you know you've had past lives there, you feel a connection and obviously I do as well. So I thought it'd be really fitting to bring the cards back in. So today I'm going to use the Diana Cooper for Atlantis cards and I'm going to use the Angels of Atlantis just to see what further messages we can get right now for our journey, for our twin flame connection and what's going on. So thank you Angels for being with me and everyone watching. What do we need to know please? Everyone who's watching right now, what guidance can you give us please? If we're twins, if we're just curious about Atlantis, what do we need to know? Wow, okay. Yeah, I'm going to take these ones. I'm going to take the ones I'm guided to and I'll put these to one side a second. And then with the Angels of Atlantis, what do we need to know? Coming out the deck straight away. So obviously this is really important right now that we get this information. So beautiful. Wow. Okay then, so the first card, and this card absolutely flew out of the deck, was the Dolphin card. And I find this fascinating because obviously this card right now is very much a sign about the promise of love between twin flames, the connection. Dolphins are all about unconditional love and about peace energy. And you know, some say soon the dolphins will be extinct because they can't handle the vibration of the negativity on the planet. So let's hope that doesn't happen because they're such beautiful creatures. But let's see what Diana says about it. So he says, Dolphins came to earth from Sirius to teach humans. They are wise ones who also maintain the vibration of the oceans. In Atlantis, they telepathically imparted guidance, technological, technological knowledge and wisdom as they swam with people. They still do this at the same time, offering us healing and joy and helping to reconnect us to our soul energy. After the fall, the mighty angels of Atlantis took dolphin bodies and became the angel dolphins. They seek people who are pure and dedicated enough to work with them now that's absolutely beautiful and you know I know some people who've, who've swam with dolphins and there's a lot of people out there that say how inhumane it is but I really feel that it's part of the dolphins life purpose as well to bring healing in so remember that you know don't judge things just know there's a divine higher purpose behind everything and it says this card suggests that you live lightly and wisely bringing joy fun and laughter into your life you were guided to develop your healing abilities serving your fellow humans and the planet so if you you're watching this and you've got a real connection with this card or with dolphins in general you may be a healer and archangel Raphael, the healing angel will be surrounding you with the unicorns as well bringing healing and transformation in so that you can release all the burdens of the pain of the past that you've been through so that you can bring healing in for yourself and others so use joy fun and laughter within you to bring great blessings in but how amazing you know that it's showing the dolphins connected with atlantis the dolphin right now is the promise of love it's showing that love connection between twin flames it's showing just pure peace and harmony and if you've swam with dolphins you will have felt that energy you know so let go of illusion and know that only love is real now we've got the fifth dimension here and obviously this is where twin flames go and meet in harmony. It's where the beauty is. It's where you tune into your higher self. And this says, in the golden years of Atlantis, the people maintained a fifth dimensional frequency by living in accordance with the highest spiritual values. One of their tenets was, do unto others as you would have them act towards you. As a result, they were at all times loving, welcoming, fair, cooperative and generous and they aspired to live in love. 
act towards others as you would like to be treated. And this is what Jesus taught. You know, Jesus taught to love one another as I have loved you. So kindness, compassion, love and understanding is really the key to everything. It's the key to happiness. When we're grateful, we bring amazing things back into our lives. So we've even more to be grateful for. When we walk around our love, in our love, our day in love with kindness, compassion, understanding you know we raise our vibration up and we really do start operating on the 5d and that's our higher self tuning us in tapping us in tuning us in with the amazing liquid love energy of source and when we do that we feel strong and powerful we'll we feel connected we feel connected with each other as well and we feel one with everything with the earth with the sky the human bodies the amazing connection with heaven all of it and this says, serve with wisdom and joy for the dolphin card. And this says, act towards others as you would like to be treated. And we all like to be treated well, to be treated fairly. But we can't expect that from others if we're not treating ourselves that way or treating other human beings in that way. Even other animals, animals, insects, they all deserve our respect, the planet, the environment, you know. And he says, if you drew this card, your guidance is to ask yourself, how you would like to be treated and act towards others accordingly for example if you want someone to see your side of an argument make sure you listen to theirs this enables you to maintain a higher perspective on life which will help you rise into the fifth dimension so you know it's common sense it's what we know we know these things this has just been reiterated so you know be good do good, feel good, and good will come back to you. We've got the telepathy card here. And we do this already. We do this if we're a twin flame. We connect with our twin. We connect with others. We use the law of attraction to our advantage. How many times have you thought of a person and then that person's rang you up out of the blue or you've passed them on the street or someone started talking to you about them? It's no coincidence. It's because you've activated your power, your telepathic power energy. And this says... In Golden Atlantis, people spoke very little because they had strong telepathic skills and could communicate clearly over long distances. Because they could readily read each other's minds, they kept their thoughts pure and constructive and only transmitted positive messages or images. The teacher priest taught the children telepathically and crystals were programmed by thoughts that were projected into them. That's amazing. So if you're also using a lot of crystals, it's very clear that you've also got a connection with Atlantis, with telepathy, that maybe that's something you're working on right now, working on your telepathic communication. And they show me in the card the food there. You know, you can do this with anything. So you can actually send out a telepathic communication to ask someone to bring you something. I've done that so many times, you know. If I fancied a chocolate bar or, you know, a milkshake or anything like that, I've set the intention to the universe and set it out telepathically and someone's just brought it to me. It's no coincidence. It's the power of your mind here. And this says, clear your mind to transmit and receive messages. So you may need to clear your mind today. You may need to go into nature. You may need to switch your phone off or come away from social media. And over the weekend, we're actually being guided to do that, to have a break from technology, to work on our own personal things. And this says, notice how telepathically receptive you are. Your guidance is to clear your mind and become receptive to the messages of your guides and your angels as well as to the thoughts of other people someone is trying to transmit something important to you you are called on to project telepathic messages of hope love and inspiration to others and we can do that by giving to others by acting kindly towards others, by giving love freely. We send out that vibration freely. And sometimes we have to clear our mind to hear the messages from above. Now, this is amazing because yesterday 
when I did the Atlantis video, we had the same card come out. So this must be really relevant right now to get it repeating again, that the crystal skull has been offered to us. The crystal skull bringing in amazing healing energy and great wisdom. And it says a mystery is waiting to unfold. So there's some mystery right now that you're being guided to, that you are unlocking. And I find that fascinating because over the last few days, I've been really guided to what videos on time travelers and you may think time travelers Liz that's hogwash but a lot of what they're saying is making sense and there's something clicking with me and when things click with me like that I know there's some reality behind it so the angels are getting a message over and if you're guided to anything like that if you're fascinated by something it's because there's some part of your soul that is connecting with the truth within that and this is what's happening right now and if you missed it i'm going to read it you again it says during golden atlantis 13 life-size quartz skulls were fashioned using technology currently beyond our comprehension 12 of these were advanced computers into which the leaders of the 12 tribes recorded the history and knowledge of their region. The 13th containing all the information of Atlantis and is no longer in physical form when human... The 13th, it was a higher frequency amethyst skull. So this amethyst skull that the angels are giving you right now contains all the knowledge of Atlantis it's no longer in physical form because it's operating on a different vibration and it says when humanity raises its vibration it will rematerialize to assist the energy of Atlantis to return so if you're operating on the 5d right now this is all falling into place because if you're operating on the 5d if you're tuning into dolphin energy and tele telepathy then you're activating something within you that's opening the doorway and unlocking the key to this mystery it says your guidance is that there is a mystery waiting to unfold for much as yet unknown. Perhaps new information is to come to you or old memories or ancient wisdom may surface to your conscious awareness. Meditation would help you to facilitate this. Be cautious about making a decision for you do not have the whole picture. Now, if you're a twin flame watching this and you're thinking about walking away or making a decision that may affect things, the angels are saying you do not have the whole picture. You don't have the picture yet. You only see a smidgen of God's plan. So raise your awareness, take your time, relax, unlock doorways instead and rise above obstacles. But a mystery is waiting to unfold. And if you're doing the same as me right now, if you're researching things, if you're being guided to things, it's because there's something within you that is letting you know that you need to activate it for your higher good. And it says information is coming to you as old memories or ancient wisdom. That's so amazing. We've got presence here presence it says remain aware at all times so this is about being in the now being in the present moment not worrying about the past you can't change or fearing the future that hasn't happened yet it's again about bringing yourself back into the now and this says in golden atlantis the people focused on the delight of the moment they lived in the now so there was no tenses or words for past or future because every feeling and thought contributes to creating the future, the Atlanteans automatically built one that was happy and benign. Furthermore, because they were emotionally present for other people, everyone felt acknowledged and cared for. That's so powerful. How many times have you been having a conversation with someone and you're sitting on your phone like this? You're not paying attention or you're listening to someone, but you're really listening to somebody else or you're thinking about your shopping list, what you need to buy. You're not physically present. You're not physically aware or spiritually aware in that moment and the Atlanteans knew this so this isn't new information it's just remembering what you already know and the great gurus teach this all the time you know the great ones like Louise Hay and Wayne Dyer and Yoda you know the great gurus they are the ones that are really showing us the way right now and nourishing our soul and this says 
Your guidance is to be fully present emotionally as well as physically for yourself and others today. The past is gone and churning about it has wasted energy. The future is yet to be written for you manifest it with your current thoughts. Make sure your mind focus is positive and constructive. So know that today that you are in control of your thoughts and your awareness at all times. And as I did it, I knocked all these cards over, which is showing the angels have got many messages for us so I think over the next few days I may talk about these cards because I really feel a huge connection with Atlantis right now we've got enlightenment here enlightenment again have you noticed what it is it's showing females always this is feminine energy this is where the power is you know this is the power of the divine and they show me the purple color as well again connected with archangel michael because archangel michael is very connected with royal blue and deep purple and it's the amethyst colour, the crystal skull. I feel amethyst very much connected with Atlantis as well. And this is showing enlightenment as being in oneness. Being in oneness when you calm your mind, when you relax. It says in Golden Atlantis, the people were all enlightened beings who achieved this state of divine illumination by living serene, contemplative lives, honouring and respecting all people and the natural world. They maintain their high frequency by being in the moment, radiating love and appreciating all that they had. By holding positive attitudes and trusting the flow of life, they had a constant connection with the divine and knew they were part of oneness. So again, we're being guided there to honour and respect all people, all animals, all insects, all plant life, the earth. We're being guided to raise our vibration and live in the moment, to radiate love to focus on the beauty around us, the unconditional love with no expectations and by using gratitude and appreciating everything. That's what brings enlightenment in. That's what brings power in. And he says, your guidance is to stop doing and striving to forget about tomorrow and just be to still your mind and be in the now. In this quiet time, contemplate the wonders of life and appreciate all that you have, including this opportunity for life on earth. Your reward will be in a peace and a sense of divine connection. So they're all repeating again, such beautiful cards. Huge shout out to Diana Cooper for these. And I've seen the amazing Diana Cooper live about four times now. She's on again at the I Can Do It. I think it's in October. I'm actually thinking of going to that if you guys are interested. It's been held in Birmingham in the UK this year. It's a one day event this year, and I, th I think Diana Cooper is there. I'll have to double check, so don't quote me on that. But she is amazing, and she works with this amazing lady that channels crystals while she's there. and kind of raises your vibration she talks about unicorns she talks about dragons she raises your vibration she brings in christ consciousness her energy is amazing when you connect with diana cooper and so beautiful that she's made these cards you know we've got contentment and look on the card there, we've got the waterfall, which is showing connection with water. Obviously, that's Atlantis related anyway. But if you've always felt calm in water, if you've always received intuition in water, this is showing that divine connection. We've got the flute there as well. And that's a divinely beautiful instrument. Amazing, because when I was a child, I wanted to play the flute. Obviously, it never happened. The closest I got was a recorder. But, you know, it's the thought. And there must have been a divine reason behind that. Even then in childhood, that I was connecting with my higher self even then. And if you think back throughout your childhood, you will have had moments of recognition where you'll think now, wow, that was the universe guiding me even then angels connecting with me even then and it's showing the power of grace beauty and poise here archangel jophiel surrounding everyone in beauty energy and this says be content as you are so it's about loving yourself just the way you are working on self-love self-worth self-healing self-care it says in golden atlantis everyone was honored 
They were happy to be themselves, so they all enjoyed a sense of deep peace and well-being. Every individual was encouraged to develop his or her gifts and talents and use them to do what they loved the most. This produced a feeling of true contentment because their offerings to the community were selfless. They also experienced the satisfaction of working for a vision beyond the self. And how true is that? How many of you are doing now what you love to do and it doesn't feel like work? You know, when you're in a job that you hate, it can feel horrendous. You know, you feel down, you feel low, you feel depressed, you feel angry, you feel like it's a chore. But when you're doing something that you love and you're getting paid for it, you feel amazing. You know, time flies. It's amazing when I do live streams because people say to me, how do you talk for two and a half hours at a time? But it feels like I'm talking for 10 minutes. The time flies because it's something I'm passionate about, something that I love. And this is what you're being guided to do right now, to tune into you, what fulfills you, what makes you feel content. So yes, be content with who you are, self-love, fall in love with you, but fall in love with your life as well. Don't do a job that you hate for money because you'll never be satisfied true satisfaction comes from within and that's pretty amazing because as I turned it over and you know this is the truth I'm not I haven't read these cards it says satisfaction on the card there this is so amazing you know it shows we're all tapped in and tuned in here it says this card suggests that it is time to experience a well-deserved feeling of satisfaction accept yourself as you are and acknowledge all your gifts and qualities then breathe in quiet contentment. This will enhance your feelings of well-being and attract more harmonious, harmonious situations to you. So you're being guided to tune into who you are. And we've got the 12 chakras here. And Diana Cooper talks about these, you know. So many people think it's just the chakras starting from the crown down there, you know. And it's not true. You've got all these other chakras and Diana Cooper activates them. It says, in Golden Atlantis, every person had 12 chakras and 12 strands of active DNA. When the frequency of Atlantis declined, five chakras closed down. Following this, 10 of the strands of DNA, which contain people's evolved psychic and spiritual powers, became dormant and are currently known as junk DNA. We are now called on to reactivate the chakras and our full DNA potential. And that's fascinating because I keep receiving information from heaven that divine feminines right now are going through DNA activation. So this is all connected with the 12 chakras here, bringing us forward. And it says, relax and tune into your potential. It says, you are reminded that you have enormous untapped spiritual and psychic powers by relaxing, you can start to activate your cellular knowledge and bring back the wisdom you had when you were in Atlantis. Your guidance is to assess and access this potential and find time and space to become quiet and still so you remember who you truly are. And I love that because Archangel, uh, Archangel Zachiel, I had to think then, there was an Archangel Metatron came through then as well. So the angels are saying Archangel Metatron and Archangel Zadkiel will work together as a team for you right now. Because obviously Archangel Metatron is the Time Lord of Heaven. And obviously Atlantis was another time and he's helping you to access that information. And Archangel Zadkiel is the angel that illuminates you to remember who you are, to tune you into who you are and who you were and who you will be again. So they will work together as a team to bring blessings in. So if you're interested in Atlantis and your past and past lives and any of this stuff, Call on Metatron and Zadkiel and they will work together and guide you exactly where you need to be to the information, the books, the YouTube videos, anything you need to connect with what you need to know now. And the Angels of Atlantis card, look at this, we've got Benediction here. 
Archangel Gabriel coming through, showing again that this, you know, you've got communication coming through. The angels are saying through your hands. The angels are saying when you do this and activate energy and you'll feel this if you've ever had Reiki or you're an energy healer, you can communicate through the power of the hands. The angels are saying you've got an eye in your hand and that sends out power energy. So it's not just about having two eyes on your head or a third eye here. It's about having the eyes in your hands that will actually communicate clearly information so so much information in the hands connected with palmistry as well here and we've got having faith archangel raziel the psychic angel the angel that helps you tune into your psychic gifts and insights is really tuning you in right now allowing you to have faith and this is beautiful because we've got archangel zagiel coming through there the angel who's working with you right now to remember who you are, bringing security in, stability, a coming together here, bringing together like-minded people and who you need to be around to connect you with your power and your wisdom. So beautiful. So I hope you've enjoyed this reading and I will tune into more of these Diana Cooper cards later in the weekend. Have a beautiful day and I'll see you soon.